currently making some risotto and I have started a system where I will have chopped veggies and then like while I'm waiting for stuff like this to boil I will prep more to refill it and then I have the actual onion my mushrooms are down here too with the rag in between to absorb the moisture and keep it fresh longer I forget nowadays I'm cooking bigger batches but I'm not used to it so I have leftovers I forgot about I made the curry remember I hope I don't look too scary. I realize I'm in the dark and now that I have black hair, I kind of scare myself. And I really appreciate Prairie for being here. I thought I would get up and Prairie. I'm just gonna write a journal entry, like, kind of listing out some negative self-talk, but then also, like, really trying to be there for myself. Like, if this was my best friend thinking this, of course I'm going to support them and, like, pour my love, kindness, and everything into that. But, like, why am I not there for myself? And I want to be better and I want things to change. I just couldn't go to sleep. Like, today, I wanted to have a full work day and I thought I should limit it to eight hours so I actually timed myself while I was editing and I only edited for five and a half hours but it felt like much longer than eight hours and I think it's because the whole time when I was staring at that screen like I wasn't really enjoying it this is one of the times where making personal content is such a weakness I think because when you're making art maybe or if you're at a job or like you're kind of not thinking about yourself you can just focus and put your mind and focus on that task at hand but when i'm like having a really low self-esteem day or just like a really negative day and looking at myself i constantly just feel like disdain like constantly and like to spend time looking at myself and like continually judging myself without having any way out of that negative loop is so exhausting and i just kept trying to push on because i have a lot of deadlines and i know that after the next few days it'll get better so i was like just just edit just like just try to edit just put out the video tomorrow you can do it you can do it and i just like couldn't focus anymore tonight so i tried going to bed and then when I laid down in bed, I just felt so alone. Like, I I feel like I'm not there for myself. Like, I abandoned myself because I, like, I try to really get down to the core feelings. And I feel like this emptiness and, like, this belief that I'm so worthless. And, like, I think back to it and I just think, like, I feel like all my life I've never really felt worthful. Like, I've when my father abandoned me when I was little, like, it, not, that wasn't like the only thing that's ever hurt me, but it definitely like shaped me to believe, like I genuinely believe I am worth and I deserve to be abandoned. And like, because of that, like so many of my current actions come from fear because I deep down believe that I deserve to be abandoned or treated like I'm, worthless and that makes me so sad to feel that i believe that i have really good days and bad days i know it's a bad day and that's it it's okay and my new york diaries kind of thing i just wanted to capture and be more honest i guess because it in a way, like being able to talk to you right now makes me feel less alone too. When I went to RISD and like the girl that was like
vlogging alone in her room and like had someone to look forward to like had something to look forward to every weekend to like upload a vlog for all of these strangers online i was excited like look forward to my videos i'm really grateful for that period in my life too that like i didn't feel alone all of those years when i like came here to a new school didn't have friends or family so it meant a lot to me i had so many things to address and i was way more immature i'm immature now but i was way more unaware and immature when i was 17 so going to school and like feeling that insecurity and that emptiness and that fear um i didn't work on it i did not and like I just made myself really busy with school and YouTube and like it's not easy it's full of struggle but like the alternative is just continuing down the same path of like denial and like not thinking about it and not doing anything about it because it's kind of easier Saturday and I'm I've been planning to go to a couple of martial arts class today because I didn't do it all week I thought I'm going to focus on work this week and so I will make up for it on the weekend but because I have so much work this weekend I canceled plans with my neighbor I kind of feel bad about but I also, I also know I will regret it. I'm spreading myself too thin. After I go work out, I'm going to come back to edit, but hopefully have um, some dopamine, endorphins, endorphins blasting out. And I haven't gone out in a couple of days. No, never mind. I did. I haven't gone out in one day. I just have like a really bad mindset that I'm trying to get out of. Hi yeah, I'm exhausted and so very stinky. Prairie didn't want to hang out with me when I came home. I pet her and she was like, oh, and she jumped off the bed. I will shower. I treated myself to sweet green for lunch and I have a blister on my big toe every time. I go to Muay Thai class, but I will say it was a good, kind of like a good push what I needed to clear my head. All of the drills and the stuff that you learn, I get so focused and the pacing is just like immediate and kind of keep going. And I'm just only thinking about that and barely like after when I started getting exhausted, I could barely remember like, okay, this hand, this hand, this hand, and then this foot. Um, and then we had some sparring, which I was just like, getting hit and it's like blocking my face the whole time um i mean a couple times and it's like okay but um point is uh i do feel some endorphins i do feel a little too exhausted because i have not done muay thai for like three months so not the best for going back to work all i want to do is lay down with a book <laughs> i've been noticing gaps in my memory today which isn't normally me. I just realized I didn't eat anything before I went to class. No wonder I was so um, tired because I got a bagel this morning and then I bit out of it and then I was like, why does this bagel taste bad? And then I'm like, oh, I didn't toast it because, you know, I love my toast. So then I put it in the toaster and then I left. It's like a rock now. I think if I microwave it, it can get softer. I was gonna try to do this experiment where I do a face mask every day for a month 
and see if my skin gets really plump. But I am so lazy, I don't have the will to do that. I do know some people that actually has like an extensive routine every day and their skin is beautiful, like a baby's ass. <laughs> well, plump like a baby's skin. That sounded pedophilic. All butts are beautiful. Except cigarette butts. I'm so close to using this primer to the end. It supposedly only has a six month shelf life. It's been over a year. I kinda look like my mom. I wanna have a sheet mask on. It's kinda scary. Hi. Yeah, it's really scary. I want to look like my mom in the viewfinder. <laughs> Don't laugh. just when it touches too much and when it's not enough, they seem to always hit it right. And a recent study offers a new clue as to why dogs seem so emotionally attuned to us. Trained dogs to lie perfectly still in MRI scans. And so now you have the capacity to do these fantastically rich, detailed images. Hello, I have arrived at the studio. I started to read now. Um, and it's been really nice because I can actually focus on the books beforehand I had a difficult time reading but I could be aware of the surroundings and like know what stops I'm at but then kind of pick up on where I left off that makes my commute really enjoyable and recently I haven't been feeling anything on the subway I could just read but today very very dizzy very very car sick brought grapes okay so sometimes i do buy fruit all right like maybe twice three times in the year i do have a little bit of fruit and i got a little snack until i get dinner with my friend annie i have a bunch of mini tasks that i want to accomplish like first to patch up this big hole right at the butt crease of one of my vintage pants. I don't know how this came about, but it's been here for a while and I thought why not turn this into my oil painting pair of pants, just studio, you know, printing pants. So I'm gonna patch this up. I have stayed a little bit longer than I intended, but I just got really carried away in the oil painting and I've been wanting to wake up earlier and adjust my schedule so that I could go to the park or jog or something to begin my day and that's still my goal, it's still down the road, but I also realized I get way too anxious if things don't go to plan and that's something I want to work on and it just seemed like it meant to be when the latest episode of my favorite podcast that came out last week is talking about control and where that stems from and the baggage and so I've been inspired to just kind of enjoy my life, bring more joy to my life and just do what I want sometimes knowing like okay I could, I could um, try my best to go to bed early and adhere to that schedule tomorrow or the next week but tonight I just for the first time got to paint for hours on end I had my dinner with my good friend and I totally forgot to vlog but I must say that place has the teeniest portions ever we were laughing to be honest I'm still hungry and um, it was 20 something dollars per person too so. so I've just been working on pet portraits because that's what I'm easing myself back into. I want to do like a combination of still life portraitures and let my realism come out because that's what I was trained in, that's what I'm comfortable with and I need to ease back into oil painting by first just picking up the brush and then another goal of mine eventually is to be able to plan out scenes, make more abstract paintings. Okay, I painted my friend's cat and I really like it as is. At first I was struggling with the underpainting and this is meant to be the first layer. So I went in with burnt umber, oh I'm sorry, with um, yellow ochre and then I went over that with 
royal blue no no must be another kind of blue and from afar the visual crossover makes a brown tabby and i kind of love that and i love that the green is the color of his eyes but i didn't put that in yet so i feel like all i want to do after this is just draw in some of his features and put in his green apple eyes and leave it here okay there's nothing wrong with imitating a photo making it look really realistic but like also i didn't set out to do it, it kind of happened on accident <laughs> so my goal is to have a little more creative control so this is pepper as you all know um if you watch hannah or follow her on instagram i really wanted to paint pepper and i haven't finished it yet but i think one or two more sittings I can't find my MacBook charger anywhere, so it died. And now I will read. And don't go. Update. The little guy's back. <laughs> Probably just needed some water.